At the start of the trail there's this structure. It has men and women's bathroom. And on the wall there there's a map and a legend. Let you know where you're going. Located just south of Saginaw, Michigan, Price Nature Center offers two and a half miles of trails. There's a woodpecker off there somewhere. One good thing about these trails is every so often a little bench, take a stop, take a break. In 1940 the Price family deeded this land to Michigan State University. They still wanted it used for public use. The MSU Forestry Department used it for experiments and they decided in 1979 that as the public kept using it it was harder and harder to do their experiments. In 1979 MSU decided to sell the land to an agency who could better use it for public use. They sold it to Saginaw County and they incorporated it into their park system and in 1981 Price Nature Center opened. What I'm finding is that every other tree has been carved, initialed, I've seen dates as far back as 75. I mean, come on. Seriously. This tree has a complete ring of carvings. And it, they continue. Other than the occasional squirrel and mosquito, I haven't really seen anything. Mosquitoes are pretty bad. That's why I'm glad I brought it off. I had to stop and apply some. You could see at one time, this one did have carvings. But, not anymore. I apologize if some of this footage seems dark and grainy. Uh, this camera doesn't have a light, it doesn't do well in low light situations. And with 186 acres, there's not much sun coming through. One other thing about this camera that I didn't realize, it doesn't have image stabilization. So if it gets a little bumpy, I apologize for that too. You know, I haven't been walking that long, and I've come across this little structure. Like an outdoor gazebo. So, I thought I would take some time. Since I've never been here before, I went to michigantrailmaps.com and they had a map of this area of the Price Nature Center. And I've only been on the trail a little bit. I just passed the short loop cutoff. And I stayed on the long loop. And I find that this is what they're calling a wildlife blind. It's a good idea to print off a map, especially if you've never been there before. At least you know where you're going. There are a ton of squirrels here. Ah, he's shy. With 186 acres of woods, the canopy here is amazing. The sun just kind of filters through all the leaves. It should be around 9 a.m. and that is the most direct sunlight I've seen since I've been here. I'm not sure how many people visit here daily or weekly or even monthly, but the trails are fairly groomed. Bridges are in good repair. Shouldn't have any trouble finding your way. Every so often I just like to stop and listen. Another th good thing about the trails here at Price is they have some pretty decent markers. 
that's the short loop that we had passed earlier. So we're going to continue on this way. Uh -huh. Let's see. Parking Cottonwood. We'll check our map here. We'll try to check our map. We are here. And it says we've only been on the trail for a little over two miles. So instead of heading out, let's see what the Cottonwood Trail looks like. Well, folks, we've reached another fork in the road. So we've got our choices. Continue on Cottonwood Trail or take Deer Run Trail. So looking at our map, you know I misspoke when I said it was we were on the trail for two miles back there when we crossed over to Cottonwood. Actually that's a 2.2 once we've complete the whole trek. So I think we will stay on Deer Run and come up to the next platform. Let's go! Looks like we're coming up to another boardwalk here. A little more substantial or bigger than some of the other footbridges we've crossed. Blind. Looks like we're meeting up with another trail. And up ahead, we're back on the Cottonwood Grove. Other than mosquitoes and squirrels, haven't really come across too much wildlife. Of course, me clomping through the woods, it's not surprising. One animal I hope I don't meet, but I can certainly smell. There's a skunk around here somewhere. Hopefully, not up ahead on this trail. One more bird walk, and one more what they call a little wildlife blind. I'd call it an outdoor gazebo, but I guess no roof on it. And one more chance for us to figure out just where we are. All right. Checking the map. We did, let's see, deer run, went along the tracks, came back around. So according to our map, we're two miles in, just a short loop around, 2.2 miles there, and then we're back where we started. All right, not a bad walk. All right, we've reached the Cottonwood crossover, and now all we do is take a right, and it's on to the parking area. As I was walking, I came out into this clearing, picnic tables, children's play area, water pump, and pavilion with grills. Let's see if we can get the water pump to work here. Uh, that's a pleasant noise. It took a bit, but I got it to work. The trail ends right where it starts, that information building. 